today I'm going to lay a course of bricks for the edging for my patio. I'm going to carry on this course of bricks and use it as a border for the slate patio. It's going to look exactly like this one. The new wall is going to go along the side of this fence here. This junction box will be concealed behind the new wall. I need to purchase some more bricks. I'm going to have to match them in with these ones. I'll take this one on the end and see if I can get some samples. I've got a couple of samples. I've just got this one. However, it's an imperial measurement and it's far too big. The colour is about right, but it's an imperial brick and I need a metric one. I've got this one and I think it's about right. It's slightly different where it hasn't got the three holes. However, it's exactly the same size and it's similar colouring. So I'm going to buy 40 of these. It should weather in okay and match like the other ones. Let's see what it looks like on the end. The differing colour stands out a bit. I think I may need to dirty it up a little bit. Great, I've bought the bricks. It was quite tricky to find the correct bricks. Most places will only sell them by the thousand. But I managed to get these from Juicen's Builder Merchants. I checked online first to match the bricks and they look like the ones that I needed. These are the items I'm going to use. I'm going to use a tape measure, a spirit level, a brick layers trowel, a pointing trowel and a regular trowel and some gloves and a brush. I've put a line in place at the correct height that the new wall would be at. This will be at a slight gradient where the patio will slope gradually for the rainwater to drip off. I will use half bricks here. I need them to be five inches high from this concrete pier. I've adjusted the height of the line so it's five inches high from the concrete pier at this end. The concrete piers are what my old decking bearers were sitting on, so I know these are all level. Well actually, there's a slight slope from one end to the other. This allowed the rainwater to drip off the decking. Now I've got to dig down to make sure that there's a good foundation for the new small brick wall to sit on. I need to work out how far I need to dig down for the foundations. I'm going to be using MOT Type 1 for the foundations. I've ordered a bulk bag as I will be also using this for the patio foundations. I've got a bit of a wonky wheel on my wheelbarrow and it's quite hard to push. down and now I'm going to shovel the MOT type 1 in place and then make sure this is packed down so I'm going to stamp on it to make sure it's all compact. I've leveled this, I've made sure that the bubble on the spirit level is on the line and not between the lines. Okay let's test the height with a brick, yeah that's about right. Let's see how the half brick sits on the pier. Let's just test this brick before I set it in place. I'm measuring how high I need this. I'm going to chop a brick in half. I'll need four half bricks altogether.
Okay, now it's time to mix the mortar for the bricks. I'm using sharp sand and some cement and some mortar. I'm going to use one part cement to four parts sharp sand. I'm wearing gloves just to protect my hands. I'm going to mix the mortar mix in a bucket as I only need a small amount at a time. I'm measuring eight scoops of sharp sand and two scoops of cement for the one in four mix. I'm going to mix the dry ingredients together first and then add a little bit of water just to bind this together and mix this to the right consistency so I can work with it. I'm going to squeeze and mix just to make sure that no water comes out of it and that it's bound together and doesn't fall apart. Okay, time to start the wall. I'm going to start the wall with the half bricks as this will be a bit easier to work with. Place the mortar on a brick and then flatten it off with a bricklayer's trowel and then smooth the edges. Make sure it's about one centimetre thick. I'm placing a half brick up against the other brick and then pressing it into place. I'm using a pointing trowel to make sure the mortar is nice and smooth between the bricks. And then do the same again on the next brick. Make sure this is all level. There's a little bit of a gap. I'm using my pointing trowel just to put a little bit more mortar in the gap and then brushing any excess off from the brick. And then carry on with another brick and so on. That looks quite good already. This is the last half brick I'm going to put in place hanging over the edge slightly so I'm pushing another brick up against it to hold it in place. Okay that's two full size bricks in place now. I'll make sure this is well packed at the bottom with mortar to hold this all in place. This will all be concealed by the patio slates that I'm going to be laying. I'm using a pointing trowel just to tidy up any mortar between the bricks. I'm making sure that the base has a good amount of mortar to hold the bricks in place. Make sure this is all in line and all level throughout. And tidy up any excess mortar. I've slightly keyed the mortar on the brick to make sure that it sticks against the other brick. Once you get going, the process is quite quick. But it is quite tricky to lay bricks vertically. out the mortar at the bottom to hold all the bricks in place. I've put two bricks at the end to make sure that it's all level and all at the correct height making sure it's all in line with all the other bricks. I've made sure that there's a slight gradient in this so the spirit level bubble is not quite level it's just on the line. I'm going to create the exact same drop as the patio slate so this will look in line and level when you look at the patio. This will help with the rainwater just to drip off and avoid any pooling.
the bricks are very rustic and they are actually slightly different sizes. As you can see, this brick I'm holding in my right hand is slightly bigger than the brick in my left hand. I've laid out the bricks so I can see what sort of gap I need in the bricks so the wall will end in exactly the right place. I've drawn an arrow on the fence to mark exactly where the wall needs to end. Now I'm going to measure five bricks and then to see if the five bricks that I've laid out are the same measurement. Yeah, that's all level and all in line. I'm using my spirit level as a flat edge to make sure it's all in line. Only a few more to go. Last one, all done. There is my arrow, great. Perfect, all in line. Okay, I'm just gonna go along the bottom section here with some more mortar, just to make sure it's solid, because the patio bit's gonna cover to about there. This will also help to keep the bricks really strong and hold them in place, as they will naturally be a bit weaker because they are set vertically. I'm brushing off any excess mortar to make sure the bricks are nice and clean. Great, that's all done and all in line. Well, that's another job done. Okay, that's how you lay a course of bricks. It's not good enough for building a house, but it's okay for a bit of landscaping and just to finish off the edging.